So Chris Sims says Michael Penix greater than Drake May. Your thoughts there, Alex Barth? It's almost word for word what I said to McCarthy back in January, isn't it? And I, I don't know what it took everybody. We so... get the quarterback guru. Here. Okay, so okay. <laughs> So let me stop you then. Yeah. Why don't you have the Patriots taking Penix at three? Why don't you stick to your guns on that? Because the the injury history is a thing. And the age is a thing. And it's a it's like a narrow tiebreaker thing, but it's a thing. I wouldn't be upset if they took Michael Penix. I'd rather the 21-year-old who's been healthy than the 24-year-old who hasn't. But as I've said, as a pure thrower of the football, Michael Penix is as good as anybody. But the prospect makeup just, for better or worse, goes beyond that. And that's just the reality of it. These guys are investments. You're investing in this player. You're putting the future of the franchise in the hand of this player. And as much as I like Michael Penix, there is a little part of me that what happens when he goes out there week two and his knee explodes. Then what? And that does, it scares me a little bit. I don't think as much as most people. And I was wondering why it was taking everybody else so long to catch up once he cleared the medicals at the combine. And I realized it's the nerds. Because the nerds have this thing, this is across all positions in the draft, that they call breakout age. They crunch their numbers and they poured over their spreadsheets and they figured out that the earlier in college a player breaks out, the better he ends up being in the NFL. To which I say, congrats, nerds, for taking all that time to figure out that the good players are good. That's basically what they figured out. The earlier, players that are good right. younger are, are, are good later. But it's not absolute. And in the case of a guy like Michael Penix, it's not like he sat on the bench. It's not like he was getting passed over for more talented players. He was hurt. As long as he's been healthy, even when he was healthy at Indiana, even though he didn't play a ton, he beat Penn State. Indiana beat Penn State. Like Nobody in the Big Ten besides Michigan and Ohio State can do that, except Indiana when Penix had an unbelievable game. Yet you're not taking him. Again, I just stick to the upside of Drake May in the age, but I would not be upset if they take Michael Penix. I wouldn't. I just the need. There's a little part of me that still can't get over. If they that. traded down and took Penix, you think that would be a, a acceptable result? Absolutely. I I don't think they can trade down very far, but yes, absolutely.